What's up everyone? So today I want to go over a popular uh, utility that's called this part, D-I-S-K-P-R-T. So um, it's actually a good um, tool that you can use to format your hard drives. You can use it to partition your hard drives. You can use it to clean your hard drives, um, delete partitions and um, a whole different range of um, other commands that are available using this part. It's a good utility that is built in um, on Windows. And I know um, a lot of folks are having issues sometimes trying to use it properly. So without further ado, um, let's get into it. So i like to open up um, File Explorer real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. So here I have my window open and um, I just have a regular C drive and my Google Drive is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and attach an external drive right now. And I'm going to bring on a external floppy, not floppy, oh that's so old, uh, a new drive. So volume D, if I open it up, there's nothing on volume D, right? Um, so for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and just create a new folder. And then I'll just go ahead and create a new shortcut, call it um, whatever, um, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, just let's just create a file itself. Um, that's a little bit easier. So we call it text. Okay. So this drive now has information stored on it, right? And if you notice, it is drive D that is located and it is 7... 74.3 um, gigabytes so a popular time when you want to get to disk uh, this part um, what you want to do you want to go ahead and type in um, command prompt so if you go and right click on Windows or just do a Windows button type in CMD you want to go ahead and run this as an administrator it's gonna prompt you if you have that selected and then you just go ahead and open it up so how do you get this now well simple you want to go ahead and type one word this part All right and when you're here you will see that it takes a little bit um, sometimes just be thinking for a little bit until it populates and you should see the command uh, this part um, show up there you go. So what we like to start off with is popular command to list disk, right? So when we list this, it shows this zero and this one. Now, if you're looking at windows like this, sometimes you don't know which disk is zero or one. By default, windows should be this zero because that's the first disk that was actually introduced to the operating system. And then every other disk that comes on will be will take the next letter. Google Drive is a virtual drive, so that really won't show. It's just a shortcut that's connected to it. But since it's um a virtual drive, you won't see it populate here. But if you're confused and you don't know how to figure out which one of these disks, in case you have multiple works, what I like to do is easily go to disk management so you right click on your windows and bring up disk management and this is the easiest way for you to figure it out so once you have disk management loaded inside of the configuration this zero will show up right here and it will tell you that it corresponds with your windows drive so if you look up here it says this zero partition one this zero partition four right and you will see that you have your windows right same thing down here this zero corresponds with windows right so that means this one which is the new volume 74.40 um, gigabytes is actually this one so this is a good way to verify that this is the disk that you're going to be working with before you mess up um, the wrong drive All right so once you verified and that's good to go you want to go back into this part now and um one of the things you could do, you want to select the disk that you want to work with, right? So you're going to do select, and you're going to select this one because that's the disk we're working with. And it's going to tell you that it's not selected. And then 
if you pay close attention, remember it had files in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and type in the word clean, right? And it's going to go ahead and clean, meaning that the command will wipe the hard drive, right? And you will see that it succeeded in cleaning the disk. Once that's clean, basically it cleaned up all the files, everything that was on there permanently. Now, good thing to note is that when you do a clean like this, sometimes the disk now comes back and it's not initialized, right? And you will have to try to initialize the disk. There are multiple ways you can do this. You can potentially initialize the disk in, um, in a command prompt window or you can go over here and you can actually use the disk management utility to initialize it. So all you have to do, find the disk that was just wiped, right click it, click initialize right there. It's going to ask you this one, depending on the, the partition style that you want to use. Um, select the default, so click OK. Once that this is initialized, you will see that the red now is not listed anymore right here, right? So even though this doesn't show up now back inside of this part, you want to go back up and you want to list your disk and see, okay, so now you can see that the star means that this disk is selected and it was what we were working with right here, right? And as you can see, earlier when we selected the disk, I'm going to go ahead and select this one because we're still working with it, right? And then since you are still working on this disk and you cleaned it earlier, now a popular command that you could use, you can bring this disk online because it's not showing up on here, meaning that it's already unallocated. Right, so the disk itself, easy way if you want to just bring this back online, you can come over here and just do a new simple volume, click next, 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 finish, and wait. Once that is finished and it's finished formatting down there, now that you will see that the disk is back online and it is empty because we cleaned it up earlier, right? After we did the partition, right? See how that is? Right? Okay, too easy. So now let's go ahead and follow up with another command where we can do, since we already have the disk selected, we can say create partition. primary. Now what this is going to do, right, is going to go ahead and create a partition on this drive. So before, remember this wasn't showing up up here and uh, we deleted everything here. The reason why it was black, it was just because when we cleaned it up and we deleted the files and we had to initialize it for it to come back online. Right, so if we go back to the command before we type this in, right, you can see if you press and enter, it's going to say this succeeded in creating a partition. Partition is primary. If you look down here, right now, you'll see that command one megabyte raw and it is actually created. Now, what I wanted to really show you is that let's start over from the top. So let's let's go back to listen the disk, right? We're gonna go back to selecting this one and we're gonna clean it. Right? Go back to the stages so you can see what I'm talking about. Now it disappeared like we did before. Now it's this one is not uh, initialize anymore, right? So if you wanted to do everything in command prompt, like we're saying, you list this again, it is there. 
right? We cleaned it earlier, right? So let's select this one. This one is not selected. And let's go ahead and try to create the partition primary. Now, as you can see, it says you need to format the job before you can use it. So basically, earlier, what we had to do, right, we use the mouse to actually create this partition. And if you notice that it initialized it um, when we clicked it. So with this command by create partition primary, it automatically formatted this and initialized it and it created the partition which is raw right so this is why you are seeing that right there now so let's go back to selecting this one just to verify that it's selected right and then once we're in here let's go ahead and go a little deeper so you want to go select partition Actually, we can do something called list partition. Partition one is there. So we know that we have a partition that we created earlier because up here we said create partition primary, right? So now let's select this partition down here. So we're going to select partition one, which is the actual partition right there. Right, partition one is selected, and now we're going to say let's make this partition active. Right, so it told you it marked the partition as active, right, and it was good to go. Right, great. So partition is is um is active. Everything is good to go. Right now, let's go ahead and continue a little bit further. We are going to say, all right, let's format this disk. So format FS equal NTFS because we want to change it from raw to where you see right there. Right? Because if it's in raw, it's not going to show up right over here. So what we want to do is to change it from raw down here and make it the NTFS so that we can um, have the partition back up here and running. So format NF NTFS and then we're going to go ahead and space and we're going to do a label. And we're going to call this, um, let's call this uh, NetShare. right and then we're going to make this format we want to make sure that the the um formatting that we're doing is, is quick right i'm going to hit enter and watch a percentage go from zero to 100 really real quick right so that means we format the drive so if you look down here now we named it net share we change it from raw to ntfs as you can see and then we formatted the drive right so now let's assign this let's call this p drive there you go so now we assigned it the p drive net share showed up everything is good to go and you use this part to basically clean, wipe the drive, format it, and put it back into the same location that we wanted it as if everything was good. So um, this is just a basic tutorial of how we use this part to actually format and clean the drive using the utilities that we have with disk management and then just um, in an explorer. All right, so if you guys really like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to make more videos for everyone really appreciate it and thank you